Um, we are at the second forum for wood and furniture in Milan, uh, organized by Federlegno. Uh, you have just uh, talked about uh, the possibilities of the Italian companies, Italian furniture and construction materials uh, producers in the U.S. What is your opinion? Oh, I think they have great futures in the United States. Uh, the doors open for the Italian companies, the economy is coming back. You saw a lot of metrics today about our construction spending being at about a 2004 level of spending now. Um, we didn't have uh, metrics on home furnishings, but we see them going up as well. The, the market for home furnishings is very strong. So the, the, the U.S. market is, is wide open for Italian companies to come into. I think the uh, opportunity now is for the Italian companies to, to come through that door. And what are the most important issues uh, in order to work with you, to work with Italian, uh, with, uh, I'm sorry, with U.S. Uh, companies? Mm -hmm. uh, maintaining really good relationships with U.S. customers is key. Good face-to-face uh, -face contact really good marketing material uh, is essential to develop a presence and maintain a presence in the United States. I think that the Italian companies can't wait for the Americans to come to Italy. The Italians have to come to the United States and really develop a uh, good presence in the U.S. markets and that requires good contact with American consumers both uh, residential consumers and commercial consumers, and also really good uh, material, printed material, good websites, good follow through on communication. And uh, um, a couple of, uh, well, weakness of the Italian companies that we have to, to change. Uh. Um, I think some areas of opportunity for Italian companies uh, would be really understanding U.S. logistics and transportation, understanding what it takes to move Italian material across the United States is very important because it can be very expensive for U.S. consumers in construction to move uh, products across the United States. Uh, Italy is about the size of California, so uh, to move product from Sicily to Milan isn't that expensive to move product in the United States from Los Angeles to Boston, very expensive. So I think that's maybe the most important thing is understanding how to, how to work in the United States geographically. And about construction materials and architecture, you came uh, to MAD Expo last year. Uh, what have you seen? What, uh, what, what, uh, what inspired you? Um, the great diversity of Italian material and products and, and companies. Uh, there, there are very, very small companies doing very boutique uh, accessories and small product materials that are fantastic. And then there are enormous companies that are fully automated, a lot of robotics, a lot of innovation. So the diversity of company that you see in Italy is just fantastic. I don't see that in the, really in my travels in the United States. But also the, the willingness of the Italian companies to talk about business is very good. I think more follow through would be better, but they're great cultures to talk to. They're very family oriented, they know their business very well, and they love design and quality more than anything else. And those are rare, I think, in, in the construction industry. And uh, as, uh, as, a, as, a, as a fear, uh, the, the, the Madi Expo, what, what has been your impression last year, and I hope will be uh, the, the push to come again this year? Well, I think the, the pull is the number of vendors that exhibit there is so great. It's really a full week. It's, you know, it's a day to come here from the United States. It's a day to go home. So if you're trying to do everything in one week, that leaves you three days. And really, you need every bit of three days to see everything that's at Made. It's so big. So I think that's the pull is the, the range and the diversity of vendors, but it's also a lot of fun. The vendors there, uh, they know their product, they're passionate about their product, and so you want to spend more time there. Um, I think in a US show or a Canadian show, we can go through the whole thing in a day. It becomes fairly routine, it's not that passionate. At Made, it was a really great experience to talk to so many different uh, companies about what they do and then have a really interesting dialogue with them.